Hi everyone, this is Han here from Sony Malaysia. In this video, it's a quick preview video on ZV-1 latest firmware update, which is allows you to use your ZV-1 as a webcam, direct USB connection to your computer without the needs of software and capture card. For the very first time, both audio and video signal are transmitted via USB cable as well. This quick video guide is only applicable to ZV-1 on the latest firmware update. Please visit Sony's support page to download the latest firmware and update your Move, then switch your camera mode to movie mode. Additionally, I also suggest to set auto power off temperature to high, so you can continue using ZV1 even when temperature gets hotter than normal. In my experience, my previous live streaming was around 2 hours duration, and it still keeps going. Finally, set your camera into USB streaming state. Once it's ready, please connect the supply USB cable to ZV1 and connect to your computer via the USB cable. It's done! Your camera is ready for web conferencing or live streaming. For web conferencing example, simply go into your preferred application, select the video and audio input to ZV1 in the setting. For Facebook Live, simply go into your live creation page. Usually it starts with your computer webcam and microphone if available. Then you need to change the video and audio input to ZV1. So you access to high quality video and audio together for better live streaming experience. Why ZV1 is the best camera for live streaming? Many thanks to two unique features on ZV1, which is one push bokeh button and product showcase setting. For one push bokeh button, it gives you simple control whether you want the subject to be isolated or not from the background, such as background blur or clear on the subject with a push of button to switch around. Another great feature is called product showcase setting, where you can easily let the camera grab the focus on anything, anything in front of camera instantaneously with minimal effort. Easily for you to showcase your product with high quality visual experience. Alright, so this is the test number one here with the audio and the video quality comparison. So the first one is actually from the computer webcam as well as the sound from the computer as well. So it's a built-in microphone just to show you here. So this is some there's some text on here. You can see it's not as clear, a bit fuzzy and blurry, although I have a very good lighting right here, but it's still yeah, due to the sensor size in the webcam is actually very small, that's why it don't give you the kind of clarity from the computer webcam. Alright, so next I'm gonna to switch to the uh ZV1 with the audio and the video comparison. Alright, so just stay tuned. So this is the second test here with the audio and visual quality from the ZV1. As you can see, the comparison from previously, the webcam was a bit muddy and then not so clear. And this one, text sharp focus, you can see the words and clear, and background just like blurs away. Ah, then thanks to the one in sensor in this ZV1, you can see very nice visual uh, from this, and also better sound quality from the ZV1. Alright. So next I'm going to do the same test again but with a different sounds options. Alright, just stay tuned. For the third test, you can see that I'm actually using the ECM-31N right now with this wireless microphone capability. Ah, so the receiver actually attached to the hot shoe on top already. So with wireless microphone, you can actually freely to move around, so making your live uh, sharing even more flexible. Imagine yourself actually doing uh, some, uh, uh, let's say, fashion review and looking at talking about this particular uh, cloth or material, and you need you need to move around to grab it and share about it. Yes, you can do that. So with this wireless microphone, let's say myself actually move out of the frame. I'm actually moving out of the frame now, and the sound is still going through to the microphone, and you still get nice and high quality audio straight to the ZV1. Ah, so actually I'm back here again. So you can imagine how flexible it is with this setup right here easily and you can do it for your live streaming making your viewer even more enjoyable because previously if you're using smartphone then if you move away from the sound the sound might not be as clear but right, right now this one you can have more flexibility with this new firmware update on the ZV1 all right so stay tuned for the uh, the rest of the video once you have concluded your sharing or live streaming if you would like to disable the usb streaming on camera simply press the center button on the z1 to cancel it and you'll go back to normal Thank you everyone for checking out this latest firmware update on ZV1. Take good care, and I'm Han from Sony Malaysia.
Okay, hi everyone, this is Han. <laughs> Hope you all enjoy the video. Hi, DJ Reef, I saw you come in. Hi, hi, I can see quite a number of people right there. Sounds good. Okay, uh, Eric is here. Abris, Abris Ham. <laughs> this LJ, okay, right here. DJ CJA, June. Okay, DJ Reef. Okay, let me take off this one for now. I think, yeah, we have about eight people right here with me. And then Ka Kao Kami, okay, Nick Leong as well. So again, feel free to, sh uh, if you have any question. <laughs> this is actually a very good camera. I'm not going to lie. Yes, for video, it's actually a very good camera. So oh, every time. <laughs> yeah, it's actually built for you guys. So you can see what you're seeing right now. It's all from the fancy camera setup right here. So it's actually quite a bit of hefty setup here. So you can see what's happening right now because I'm actually in my kitchen. But uh, I set up in a way like, you know, some LED light at the back there. Just call me Sham. <laughs> Sorry about that. Hi, hi. Uh, okay, let me quickly uh, arrange this for a bit here. And then there's a, uh, oops, wrong one. Not this one, quickly. Uh, okay, almost there. Okay, so uh, thanks for joining for this live sharing session. Okay, so feel free if any question, just drop in a comment there. I'll, you know, again, uh, if you want to find out everything about ZV1, of course. So I uh, mean, maybe uh, some of you are new and then you're not sure, uh, maybe Sony camera and then you know Sony camera has so many lineup right now. I just quickly go through, although Z1 is our hero today, uh, just by the way, the camera I'm using right now in front of me is actually I'm using my, uh, it's a Sarah S Mark III in front of me. It's a full frame camera with a 35mm 1.4 GM. So you can see how nice with the background separation because of the, the full frame sensor, all this and that. But any, nevertheless, the Z1 is also a quite a capable, capable camera. It actually has all the latest features that pack into one tiny, tiny uh, camera inside. So yeah, the background blur is as well, thanks to the full frame capability. Uh, but of course, this setup here is a bit hefty, la, okay? The camera <laughs> body alone is like 16K and then the less another 6K. Yeah, something like that. How does it shoot photos, man? Yeah, you can, definitely can take photo. Uh, oh, it, with Z1, can, you can. So if I want to show you, mm, okay, I do have some sample picture that I took with Z1. Because uh, two years ago when I was, uh, uh, I mean, at three years ago, three years ago, when I just joined Sony, not long, it was my first assignment that I brought the, it was RX, what, RX100 Mark V, basically. So the idea is the RX100 Mark V was an old camera from last time, but it has the same sensor size, same sensor technology, also with a similar 2470 f1.8 to 2.8 lenses. So I use it to take quite, quite, a, uh, quite a lot of photos. I, yeah, so I just quickly download them. Here's actually upload to my own uh, shared, shared drive. Okay, so <laughs> yeah, uh, the hero of today is this one, which is right here. You can see. Okay, it's everyone. You can see I'm in the lower right corner here. Okay, so this is my hero, uh, 3399. It's actually quite a good price because it actually packs all the, like I said, the, all the latest alpha technology packed into this one tiny body. And then you can uh, do very good. Actually, I like this camera. Uh, better for video than photo. Although the video, because the, the focusing is super, uh, super quick. It's actually one of the quickest, if you even compare to the 7S Mark III right in front of me, even though this is a very powerful camera. Okay, let me switch back for now. I can switch back for myself. Okay, just to do a quick demonstration. Uh, what I'm gonna do is that I already pair up the camera. So the way is that it's right now actually keep tracking my eyeball all the time. So what I'm gonna do is that I can tell the camera to less prioritize on my face but you prioritize whatever closest to the camera. This is what happened to the Z1. The Z1 has this product showcase setting. It actually uh, has grabbed, it can grab the focus instantaneously, anything in front of camera. So right now, uh, I already set the fastest, everything on this Z1 S Mark III. And by the way, S S Mark III is like a latest as well, but this one is, yeah. Just want to show you some speed comparison because this Z1 is actually quite fast. So let me just switch on this one for now. And then, is it pop? Yeah, so you can see, I go to front, back to me, front, okay, back to me. So it is, so you can see the, the speed, okay? Of course, this is a full frame. Yes, so tonight that you come to this live sharing, you have, a, we have a special deal from uh, my colleague here, he told me, and then with the QQ camera. So uh, later I'll show you the, the deal, but right now you can see, this is a, you can see how, how far is it grab. As soon as I move forward, it, it, it grab the focus and back to me. 
Okay, it's fast, it's fast. But if you compare to ZV1, it's like, okay, so what I'm gonna do is that I will, because I have a bit of hefty setup here, so I'm just gonna show you uh, right here. This is another view. So this is a top-down view, and then I put my set at the corner. So you can see my keyboard, and this is, a, this is how, where I do all the switching, to do all the switching, that's how you can see multiple cam. Okay, but don't worry, don't be overwhelmed with this because this mic is quite a complete setup right now. But if you start from scratch, I'll just show you a simple one from a scratch. And then with the ZV1, okay. Yeah, hi, <laughs> that's fast. Okay, just to share one is from the latest S Mark 3, but Z1 is actually even faster. So I'm going to switch on this one for now. Turn on. I'm going to turn on this Wi Fi. This is a Wi Fi transmission because it's actually I can carry with me. Like it looks like a trans transformer here. <laughs> so it can actually, I can actually move around. Oops. Let me... Uh, because my cable was blocking it. Okay, let me do one more time. Let me turn on. Okay. Oh. 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 Yeah. Wait a uh, Give me one second. Okay, because I was <laughs> my cable was blocking uh, the thing. Okay, now it's connected. Done. Okay. Damn nice how it works Facebook. Yeah. <laughs> so okay, of course, this is uh, like a level up game. If you uh if you are uh, okay, so if you are uh yeah, want to do live stream seriously, you need to have a multiple cam setup. Eight minute is way to go. And currently what you're seeing watching right now is at full HD at 60 frames per second. So you can see all the movement is like very fluid, very, uh, like very smooth, very smooth, thanks to the 60 frames per second. And you can do that on YouTube. But if you want to do Facebook, you can you only limit to 720p, which is a bit sucks. And the other thing is that uh, if you want to change into higher resolution, you need to have a gaming account on Facebook. That's another thing to worry about. But anyhow, YouTube is like very good. It gets very fast. Anyhow, uh, this is the Wi-Fi transmission, if, it's, if I can show you this one yeah okay so right now you can see i'm holding the thing moving at the same time and it's actually wirelessly transmit the uh, the signal towards the uh, the transmitter and come to come to thing uh, quite happy here but anyhow i just want to show you the focusing let's say i back to myself okay and then uh, let me go around a bit more yeah so you can see this is uh it actually knows where's my eyes really okay this is what you're getting from the one in sensor but it's actually quite good because it's uh, this camera that we want it prioritize the the skin color and now right now you see it's like straight from camera i didn't do any adjustment all right so you can see it's quite good and i have some lighting going on at the same time like a blue sauce and then orange sauce mixture but i just left it on auto for now okay so uh what i'm going to do is i need to turn on the product showcase setting that's where the focusing is super quick okay oh uh, great. I forgot. I, s <laughs> I go and set the setting on different thing. Am I quickly go and uh, change back? On the number two, it's always the second last page. Okay, you go to the second last page, you will find a custom key. So if you want to, if you want to custom key for different video in video mode in different uh, different button for different setting, you need to go to this one. And this is a photo mode. Yeah. So Sony Vance camera hands down. So feel free to share this video to your friends. Uh, in case they are wondering, okay, what is ZV1? And then, uh, yeah, stuff like that. <laughs> okay, so this is product showcase, I think. On, okay, sorry, turn on, good. Right, okay, so, okay, just by, just letting you know, you can see that the, the view is actually slightly more wider. Okay, if I turn off the product showcase, I think, okay, this is off already. So you can see, it actually knows where my eyes is actually tracking. So uh, when you turn turn off the browser showcase, I think it actually crop a bit. Okay, due to the stabilization, when I choose in the active mode, it will crop a bit. But if I turn if I turn back, so if you are mostly uh, sharing and then you're putting your camera on a on a stand, I just turn on the browser showcase. I think just press press one button. Okay, let me go around. Oops, not this one. Uh, go around. Okay, so I just press this button right here at the corner. There's a but there's a dustbin. Press this button, it will turn on the brush showcase. I think this is the default button, and then the bokeh switch and on top. This is a bokeh switch on top right here. But the dustbin button here is to turn on the brush showcase. I think so. Let me switch back again. So this is the view. Okay, oops, I accidentally just press record. <laughs> uh, okay, right next. Okay, so uh, this is now PlayStation still on. Let me turn off. Okay, setting is on. Same thing. Anything in front of the camera, you grab. See the speed. 
It's just compared to 7S Mark III. 7S Mark III is the latest camera and it's packed with lots of punch, like a lot of punch. But the focusing, this is crazy. You can see how quick it is. Of course, you don't get the full frame, you know, the background separation. But this one, that's how it is. You can actually track thing. You just let it go because it's just so fast. Come back to me. Back to it. Back to me. Back to it. Okay? So you can just rely on it. So the J1 is pretty good deal for me because everything I see when I saw it always expensive. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, you can uh, bear with me because I, I use Sony cameras since 2012. So I invest quite a bit, uh, including I invest on the third party camera and lenses as well. Also the different brand. <laughs> anyway, but uh, I wouldn't say Sony expensive. I would just say it's a market rate. So put it this way, BMW, you know, Mercedes, they are C-Class, they are BM3 series. They won't go lower than 150k for a brand new car. They will always 230k, 240k for a start. They won't go lower because this is how the competition set the price standard like that. Canon and Nikon has been there for like so many years. And that's why it's... Uh, okay, let me switch back to my view so you can see what's happening here. So you can, you can see it's always... Yeah, that's the price, okay? But believe me, believe me or not, some of the newer lenses from Sony, especially the new 35 GM or even the new 50mm 1.2 is actually very remarkable lenses as an example. But it's actually cheaper than Canon and Nikon as an example. But anyhow, just want to show you that the, the price median is like this. You can't really adjust, change it because it's, this is how it actually works. So yeah, Z1 is much faster. So back to Z1 again here. Oh, come back here, Z1. So you can see back to this battery, you can track very fast, very close, come back to me, boom, come back. As long as you're in the, in the bracket. Uh. Okay, what you're seeing right now is actually the live view, not live view, the, the actual information from the camera. So, uh, of course, if I turn, if I do switch around, I make, I turn off this part here, what do you call this? Uh, what do you call, uh, this is, uh, if you want to have, a, some people want to have a clean HDMI input, like, like this is, okay, let me show you. This is clean HDMI input, because what you're showing right now is just no information overlay. This is clean video. That's why we call clean HDMI input. If you want to have information overlay, that's, how, that's why I just now show is the from the ZV1. Then you see this information overlay. But in order to switch ZV1 become a clean HDMI, very easily you just need to go into HDMI setting right here. Again, this uh, this live here be, could be useful for you in case you want to do it for yourself in future and refer back. You can always refer to this link because this thing is always there. All right, and also this is my own YouTube page. That's why I do it for training and also for uh, live sharing. So if you uh, you can see, I got other video as well. You can go and check it out. So for here, you can find one thing called HDMI info display. Most of the camera from Sony, anywhere from 2015 onwards. Uh, uh, yes, I, if I'm not mistaken, if I remember, don't remember correctly, if I don't mistaken, 2015 and onwards, pretty much is all the new camera. You will see this thing. It won't run away. HDMI info display, press it and switch off. Then you have a clean, this is called clean HDMI boot because basically it has no information overlay. Let me show you for now. And then, of course, this is I'm using wireless. Okay, you can see wireless. And then with the, of course, uh, yeah, this is another system that if you're interested to invest, but another thing, but just to show you, you can see also very quick, back to me. You can see, yeah. So if you like to show stuff, use this product showcase setting, it's awesome. Just, you can just trust on it because it's just, unless you accidentally turn on the face detection, Okay, see, is this still focused? Oh, let me see. Oh, I'm still in a mode. Wait, hold on. Okay, let me, if I switch this. Okay, yeah. So right now, it prioritizes on my face and eye so that I, I, when I put something in the front, it won't focus. So most of the camera uh, from Sony at the start, when you buy, it always prioritizes face, regardless. Always prioritize face or eye, regardless. Depends on the, the model, but mostly all face. So you can see. Right now, it doesn't track because it, it actually, uh, how say, it prioritizes on my face and eye. Unless I block my, my eye, then only you can see. Okay, you get an idea. Okay, so all you need to do is just turn on a browser key setting. Okay, you get a wider view back to the 24, and then, yeah, so very fast. But of course, yeah, that's, that's how you do it, very quick, easy. Okay, let me see. All right, J1 is much faster. <laughs> okay, so... You get the idea? Okay. Uh, yeah. So this is just for the product showcase setting alone. I think that's one of the most awesome features. Lah. Okay. And uh, just also showing you, in case some people might wondering, what is my 
setup right now. It's actually quite a complete one. <laughs> okay, so it took me a while. Okay, I started I started doing streaming since you know MCO basically last year, and then yeah, I invest I think quite a bit. I invest more than 10k myself to to get a lot of things <laughs> into work together. I mean, you test I, I do many testing and also fail because no one teach me. I just need to yeah take time now. But anyhow, it's uh, just to show you. Okay, so you can see this is the another screen here just to sh yeah for me to check. Actually, I have another monitor here. This this monitor to allow me to check my compositions. Okay, you can. There's another phone for me to check all the comments. So feel free to leave any comment here. I hope it's I hope it's not lagging. Yeah. Okay. So okay, like I mentioned before, the on top here, this is the Cell S Mark Three with the thirty five one point four GM in front of me right here. That's why you can see. And of course, there's a mic here. Uh, later I'll be doing a sound test as well. So if different sound could change your game as well. So this is the ecn b one m on top right here. And then uh, my, my then myself, oh sorry, this is another computer. Just to let me see what is uh, what I'm gonna preview for you guys to see. And this is another computer here. Uh, this is a bit crazy one. <laughs> if you know that you know it because it's a crazy one. Okay, but you can get an idea. So this is a doing live stream all from here. So I separate out another mo com com computer to do Different different things. Okay, so it might look a bit overwhelmed, <laughs> but I'm just quickly show you how easily you can just by using a ZV1 alone. Oops, she's back. Okay, just by using a ZV1 alone to do the live streaming. Okay, without going through all these complicated tasks because right now ZV1 comes with the latest update, which is the version 2.0, where you can just plug in a USB cable. It will act the ZV1 as one of the uh, USB video card like that, so you, you the camera will send a video signal to computer directly without having additional uh, capture card straight from the ca straight from the camera. So it's actually one of the world, uh, one of the camera that actually does this. Not a lot of camera does that, even in other brands. Other brands have to go through a certain software, but this one doesn't. It just goes straight. Yeah. So uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, so yeah, thanks, thanks for thanks, Crazy Laptop. Yeah, thanks for Sony, Sonic, Yo. Uh, really, because I I'm a gadget, my I'm a gadget guy myself, so I really spend a lot on gadget. <laughs> okay, so I'm I'm, I'm not rich, I'm not a rich guy. I've just said I'm I like gadget because I like to try different different things. So I buy. <laughs> okay, yeah, Sony pays me. I pay back to Sony. Okay, or maybe on other thing. All right, so uh, just to quickly to show you. Okay, so oh. I forgot actually another camera. So if you want to create this kind of view, you, if you want to do like, because you're, you're doing live streaming for your DJing, I'm, I'm sure your sound is the key thing. And then another thing is your camera multiple view. So you can see I have a front view here. Oh, so I need, I need to switch back to the, uh, the eye detection so it won't, okay. So I prioritize my eyes again. Yeah, you won't track anything in the front. Okay, good, you prioritize my face. Okay, so if you want to have this kind of view, like a front view and then another top-down view because you want to do your DJing, is, this is the top-down view because there's another, another uh, camera right here. So yeah, you might want to, if you're going for bigger, bigger game, you might need to have one at the top and one at the bottom. And then, you know, one at the one right here and one in the front, like say two of them, then you can do very nice. Of course, then you might need to get this kind of switches. What uh, Sony camera is the best in terms of balance for a good price? Balance as in both good photo and video. Ah, uh, then you got the answer. That one will be the best already. <laughs> oh, speaking about photo, just now you asked me. I just remember. Please, please, uh, please remind me. So in case I sometimes I I can carry away myself when I talk too much, <laughs> and then I have like uh okay. So I'm gonna show you the photo that I took with the ZV1. Uh, I mean, not ZV1, but it's the same sensor, same lens. I mean, it's the same thing because ZV1 can take RAW file and JPEG file. So I just want to show you the picture quality from this uh, combination right here. You can really do quite a good stuff, especially the RAW file from ZV1 also quite, quite good. So I'm going to bring up, uh, it was my first task when I just joined Sony Malaysia and then my boss asked me, hey, go take some picture and, you know, okay, then I just do some picture uh, like a folder. Okay, let me go to my folder and then go to ZV1. Uh, right here. Okay. Okay, I'm just gonna bring out the pictures so you can see what is happening. Okay, and right here and here. All right, so, uh, okay, this is some street shot here. 
Okay, so some simple, you know, <laughs> not a fancy one, but it can still get a very nice detail because it has 20 million pixels. And then it's a one in sensor, you can take raw file, so you can really have fun into it. So you can even take nice portrait. Okay, if any, if you take, go in. Oh, it, oh I mean, this is not a full frame, lah, huh? but you can get ideas, you still can get some nice pictures out of it for daily snaps, you know, for daily, daily snaps. Okay, you can get an idea. So, yeah. Uh, I I think it's, it's like, yeah, for a one inch sensor, for not a full frame, but with this combination, you can get this kind of picture quality. Yeah, and uh, so uh, just a tips here, if you want to take nice photo, okay, with this camera, sometimes uh, I, I, pre I will suggest you to stop down, means that, let's say for this picture, I didn't shoot at 1.8, I stopped down to 2.8. Uh, usually lens at wide open, they don't, they, they are not as sharp unless you're buying the G Master. Like G Master is like crazy sharp at wide open. But this kind of lens normally, uh, you need to stop down to let's say 2.8 or f4, then you get a better, sharper pictures. You can see this. Although this, you can see all here, it's all from 2.8. Uh, and I stopped down to f4. Okay, this is f4. So f4 give me like very nice sharpness. And then this is from the uh, ZV1 equivalent. Okay, and uh, it's, yeah. So you can get idea, so you can do some long exposure if you want to. You can do long exposure because ZV-1 inside has a built-in ND filter. So the ND filter allows you to drag your exposure to do an even longer time. So let's say this one is actually a shot at 30 seconds. Because depending on the, you know, the sun and the horizon and the lighting, so uh, uh, there's no one answer for everything, but just to show you, let's say uh, this one is a 30 second F, uh, 24mm and F9, and then I shoot at ISO, what is this, 80, the lowest possible. Yeah, to get this kind of shot, this is, you know, the, the most in Putrajaya, yeah. And then you can even do Milky Way. <laughs> Trust me or not, you can do Milky Way, because when I went to... The this is but this is but to uh, what what's the name? It's somewhere in 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 Slango and further up. Ah, Kuala Kubo, Kuala Kubo. Okay. Uh, so the lowest aperture means that maximum hole. Okay. So just to explain a bit, if you want to have the lens have a lot of light comes in, means the the aperture go, goes bigger. The lowest number for this lens is f one point eight. Ah, uh, so f one point eight is the biggest. Ah, uh, so you can get that, but you can take you can take Milky Way. Of course, if you do can if you do try on it, travel next time, you can take Milky Way. And one thing is, when I was there, the the uh, the phot the photographer group they look at me. Are you serious? You're taking a compact camera to take a Milky Way? Are you sure? They were like 5D Mark III, you know, uh, Canon, Nikon, you know, all these big camera, big camera. They look at me. Are you sure? I say, can why not? You can do. It, it's just uh, because it has 1.8, and then you has although it's one inch sensor, you still can do. Who, it's not that you can't do, you can't do, but you know you need to know the tactics and tricks. Okay, for daily snaps, okay. So uh, the the long Milky Way is oh I didn't put here. Oops, I think maybe. Uh, okay, the rule of thumb is you uh, uh, according to full frame camera. I think what it does is that if you are using a twenty four mm lens, what you do is you, we call we call this call uh, we use this. 500 rule, basically means 500 divided by 24 is how much? Uh? <laughs> That's how we calculate. Okay, let me let me do some maths. If I'm not mistaken, 500 divided by 2.24. Okay, so uh, 500 divided by 24, your maximum long exposure uh, duration or long, long the shutter speed open for how long, the maximum you can go is 21 seconds before the star start to uh, like see the, the path line. Yeah. So basically, the idea is you want to use 500 rules. Basically, if you're shooting at 24 mm, 500 divided by 24, and your maximum shutter speed can go is 21 seconds. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, last time, 5D Mark III, but now, now 5D Mark III is already obsolete. <laughs> already obsolete. So you can, you can do this daily snaps, you know, ZV1. Uh, so uh, yeah, ZV1, ZV1, not the issues, you know, uh, Pataing Street. Uh, then I go to Lim Jetty in, 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 in Penang, some daily snaps, you know, you can stick, get, get very nice colors out of this camera, you know, then this go to Bukit Bandera, and then I went to the Typhoon, you can see Typhoon, black and white, I can do some conversion, but the raw file is quite flexible, and then Typhoon again, see, very nice, it's very punchy color, it's straight from, straight from a camera, very nice, of course, this one do a bit of editing here, but this is already quite good, and then I can do a bit of editing, you want to have fun, with the red color and then long exposure again. Uh, this is a long exposure. I think a lot of people like to do long exposure. So this one right here is about 25 seconds, F11, and I shoot at F11, 25 seconds, 
and ISO 80. So yeah. So the formula is 500 divided by focal length. Focal length means if your lens is a 24mm, you 500 divided by 24. If your lens is a 50mm, you 500 divided by 50. That's how long your sh uh, shutter speed duration uh, to open up. Okay, all right, enough of photo. <laughs> so you can get an idea, huh? okay? Uh, even though small camera, you know, small camera, you can, this is one of the workshops that I did back then. Uh, yeah, so you can see, and then you can, oh, low light, you can take low light. And all this shot here is at one, F1.8, 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 handheld, you know, and then F1.8, handheld, you can take, and some colors. So it's quite a capable one inch sensor. Yeah, for photo, okay? But of course, the strong point for this camera is actually the video side. The video side is, like I say, the sound of focus is very fast. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Okay, this is DJ Ken, DJ Reeve. Yep, yep. So, uh, just welcome in. All right, so good, good. Feel free to ask me more questions. All right, I think most important, I need to show you, <laughs> before you all run away, uh, this part here for now. Okay, so for, for tonight, especially for this special promo right here. Okay, so uh, 2980 for the body. It got extra $50, uh, $50 cash voucher and touch and go uh, reload card for 50. So yeah, it's a hundred dollar here. So yeah, this is for the body only by itself. Hot deals, okay? So anything, you can find your boss or find the boss and my friend uh, Klaus. Uh, and then, yeah, yeah, I think this is from QQ camera. You can look for him. And then, yeah, so, Again, you can see here, this is, a, this is a, a big, bigger bundle here because this is just a basic with a one battery and this is a bigger bundle here. For 3269, you get all these gifts as come. You know, the, there's, a, there's a 64 GB SD card, another, another total, of two bat, uh, total of two battery and a bag. And uh, yeah, a, a simple, what do you call this? A simple uh, tripod for you to start, okay? Because this camera is not heavy and then some charger. Okay, so and then 3469 camera as kissable with 50 cash order and 50 touch and go. And oh, without a grip. Okay, this is without a grip, this is with a grip. Okay, just want to show you what is the grip looks like. It looks like this. So back to me again. So of course the Z, Z one. Okay, the one I'm holding right now, this is uh, actually the bigger brother one. Okay, you can see it doesn't prioritize on the, on the camera because I asked the camera to focus on my face. Let me switch on back again. Okay, so you focus on this again. Focus. So this is a uh, this is a bigger grip, ah, uh, not this one, ah. Uh. The one you're getting is not this one. Okay, the one you're getting is actually is this. Uh, if you're buying the grip, so we have this one called. Uh, this is a tiny one. It's called VCT dash HGR one. So basically, this is using a USB cable. Yeah, your USB is USB cable to connect to the camera. So you can see right here and you connect to the camera USB. All right, this is a VCT HGR one. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, maybe some delivery, <laughs> but I don't know who is it. Uh, oh. Uh, no. No, okay. Okay. Uh, wrong call. Anyway, this is the VCT SGR one. So, okay, let me quickly take it out for now because it's a, it's a huge one right here. There's a camera here, and then that's the smaller one. Okay, so basically you can control the zoom and also recording button all from this tiny, tiny grip here. Okay, see any question right here? Nope, okay. So you can see already connected, this is a smaller one. And then you also, it, sorry, a bit, bit chunky, because the top there is the wireless connection. Okay, so uh, basically you can open up, become a tiny table top, you know, you can put on the table, so you can put on the table, all right? And on, then this is a cable for you to plug in the USB port. Okay, the USB port, and you can do the, right here. Yeah, so you can see how it actually zoom in and zoom out. Okay, so let me, let me switch around so you can see what is happening. Okay, so zoom in. Oh, sorry, there's a zoom out, and that's the zoom in. So by pressing the button, so if I press, turn on again, by pressing the button, zoom out, then zoom in. Okay, you can use the, use the grip to control and then with all the photo and video button right here, you can press on here, it will start recording. Okay, so that's the, that's the tiny grip right here, back to this one. So that's the VCT-SGR one with the, with the grip. So good for you to bring around as tiny and small and compact. Yeah, so that one is purchase for purchase.
But of course, if you're looking for something more advanced, and also I, I'm very, I love this a lot as well for myself, that's how I also got it. It's the GP-VPT2BT, it's a quite mouthful. Basically, it means it's a Bluetooth grip. You connect wire, wire, uh, through wireless Bluetooth. Because let's say right now, okay, let me put it back for now. And I can then I'll show you back. Okay, this is the GP-VPT2BT, all right? So uh, it's actually Bluetooth control. Currently, this camera in front is actually connected with this grip here. So once it, one is bind, it's, it will remember this forever. But if you want to connect to another camera, you need to rebind again. So it will, it will just hug on that particular camera for a long time. So let me turn off myself here. So if you can see, yeah. And then this is a bigger one and that's the smaller one, okay? Okay, so this is a VCT SGR one. And this is the VPT2BT, and there's no cable on this one. That's the cable. So with this one, you actually need to buy those battery, like those CR232. It's like those round battery. So with this, let me turn on this button. Okay, currently the camera actually is set to by uh, when I press this button, it will actually turn on the face detection. When I press this, because it's Bluetooth control, press. You see, it go back to my face. So you can just trust the technology. It works. So I press again. You go back to uh, whichever closest to camera, it will prioritize. Okay, you closes the camera, you project. If it's too close, means you can. If it, uh, yeah. If it's too close, means the camera, uh, you're getting too close to the camera. Still, yeah, can already. Yeah, something like that. So, uh, because there's a custom button here that for for you to do additional function that you want to create, it's up to you. You can do all this setting inside the camera very easily. But press again, you'll go back to my eye. Yeah, see, yeah, you go back to my eye. Then go to the controller. And go to eye. Yeah. So. This is a very nice grip, and it costs a bit more. <laughs> okay, so this one you need to buy additional. You need to go ask the shop, and this is an additional. This is uh, about four nine nine, I think, for this particular grip. Yeah, so it's quite. Because for me, it's a big hand, so I can just bring around. And then you want to do vlogging, and you want to do your video. Yeah, so it's up to you. You can go with the smaller one, or you want to go with the bigger one. It's up to you. So everyone has different different preferences. So press again. You go back to this. Okay. So, uh, so far, so good. Everyone's still following me with all the demonstration right here. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to bring up my video so you can see. Uh, I, did, I did this video when I was in last year, one of the workshops. Uh, so, the camera has uh, active stabilization, which is also quite good already. That one, the stabilization actually from the camera itself. It's not, uh, I'm not, I didn't use any gimbal. I just used the camera and then it, 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 it has very good stabilization. So, I'm just going to bring up that video. That's really damn quick. What's the specific specific Bluetooth? Uh, I I uh, okay. Uh, yeah, Abraham. I'm not sure about the specific Bluetooth, but this is this thing actually. Okay, let me bring up. So in case you want to find out what it is, so if I go to here. Okay, just remember. So the one I showed you before is called uh, this one here, and you can just type GP dash VPT two. I don't. <laughs> that's a quite. Quite a long one. <laughs> this, this, that's the name. Oops. Uh, oops. I pressed go to the support. Ah, okay. GP dash VPT two BT. Okay. Uh, hmm. Yeah, that's the one. Ah, uh. so you can see this. Yeah. Okay. Somehow it bring me to this page. But actually, yeah, there's a product page I can have a look. This is the one. GP dash VPT two BT. Sounds still okay? Good. Okay. So I'm going to bring out a video uh, about the camera. Actually, why so good about video is uh, uh, he has a very good stabilization, okay, from the camera itself. So you can have a look. Okay. Let me quickly bring up.
Oops. Okay. All right. So yeah, like you say, how many state axis stabilization? Okay. So with this kind of compact camera, usually they don't have the five axis sensor stabilization. They don't do that. Okay. Usually compact camera, they are uh, only relies on the lens stabilization, which is very common in those DSLR day because the stabilization actually on the lens itself. So on the lens itself, usually only the two axis. Okay. X and Y two axis only, all right? So what it does is that when you see just now the video, it says active mode. Active mode means that he, uh, the camera will actually crop about 10% and then to do additional uh, in, the, in the camera processor to do the additional stabilization. So what you see just now was actually uh, an effect of 1.1x crop with the active stabilization. It's actually it's like a digital stabilization on top of the, uh, the lens stabilization. So there's a lens part moving and at the, same, at the same time, the sensor also doing the calculation at the same time. Because this uh, ZV-1, it actually store one thing cool called uh, the gyro metadata. So what it means that uh, it actually knows how uh, your, your camera movement according to the earth movement. Gyro is a gyroscope. So it knows how your move according to the, of the, of the earth rotations. So actually it's quite a crazy stuff. Uh, yeah, with this active stabilization, so you can see quite smooth just now. And currently, only a, a certain camera has these features. Not all Sony camera has it. Even some of the A C N C also don't have it. Yeah, not all the camera has it. So, okay, uh, any question there? I can see some jitter. Yeah, jitter happen when there's low light. Usually, low light that's where it hammers this sensor a bit because it's only one inch and the ISO only up to. Uh, usable for me like 6004 but I actually won't go that high maybe 3002 6004 I would say that's the safest mark but although you can go higher 12800 but it's not looks that good so for me I would stay max up to 6004 where when you low light then you see the jitter because of the state uh, anything with the digital stabilization if you see as an example from GoPro it's good in daytime but nighttime you are in struggle <laughs> because GoPro relies fully on digital stabilization and with digital stabilization problem is uh, and the one they are using is not actually using gyroscope there I think they are using different thing but anyhow what I'm trying to say is they uh, you will see some ghosting effect or jitter effect because of the digital stabilization so one of the downside with digital stabilization is actually night time it might be struggle but with this ZV-1 because it has a quite a big sensor and then optical and the digital it works together so it looks still okay you see it's just not in the video all right and yeah then again the sound from the camera is okay la. so right now okay what you're hearing right now is from this uh, dedicated uh, live sharing microphone so you will hear my sound super clear without any of the ambient noise because this one is actually made for that but one of the problems is if, if I move away move away move away the sound becomes smaller and smaller you don't even hear my sound as clear as anymore so if I go away move away move away so I, I'm still speaking but the sound is actually very focused into one area only but if I go for, further away the sound becomes smaller not as loud if I go closer it go louder uh, because it's a condenser you know ish. anyway yeah so speaking of sound uh, with this every one right here okay so if any question comment feel free to drop in the in the question there let me know okay uh, what I'm gonna do is uh, maybe there's a bit of delay because I forgot to synchronize this particular <laughs> that we want to the anyway I'm just going to show you let's say if I switch over okay and uh, I turn on this uh, I need to turn off this sound here let me and where is oops sorry my bad okay I need to turn off my road mic sound okay turn on this okay Sound, sound in. Okay, so what you're hearing right now is actually from the ZV-1. Okay, so the sound is, should be from the ZV-1. I already turned off my road mic. Okay, so the sound is purely from this ZV-1 with the three microphone on top. Of course, because you might hear more noise of the, because I'm in this living room here and you have the sound at the background. So let me go back to myself. Oops, too big. Ah, okay, you can see why it's so clear. Okay, so there's a ZV-1 right here with me. All right. And then you can see this is how the quality you're seeing right now. You can see. Okay, right now it's with the product showcase setting. So if you anything in front, it will focus. Yeah, very fast. No problem. Okay. So uh, just now when I say the crop is as soon as you turn on the turn on the face action, you go back to the crop because of the active stabilization. Let me turn okay, crop back. So now it should have a stable footage. You can see much more stable. Okay, I'm moving right now. You can see much more stable. 
Okay, so the bit of sacrifice, but you're getting the better, you know, footage. So I suggest you get a grip so you can extend your arm a little bit more. So to to have a have a longer away from yourself. Let me yeah. Okay, let me quickly lock this back. So you can quickly lock this. Okay. So yeah, so you can see this is like much say stable footages. Okay, the sound is actually from this uh, ZV1 right now. So if I do bring up this, then you can see uh, the the sound on top is this that has this three microphone on top here. That's where it's actually more for surrounding sound. So you're hearing the sound right now from the ZV1. The sound lag too, I think. <laughs> okay, yeah, understand. Okay, let me switch back to the road again. Let me switch off. Okay, so I need to teach you guys how to calculate the sound delay. Yes, usually when you when you are going through uh, mount. Oops, let me go back to myself. When you're going through multiple uh, item, depending on how many layers, so you need to start calculate computer, then computer to computer to the uh, sorry the camera, the camera to a computer. There's one cable, and then inside computer got hardware. Okay. Uh, hardware inside, what are they inside, you don't know, there's another delay. So uh, after that, uh, computer to your online. So you know the software and then to an online. There's a <laughs> so there's a multiple delay. So at least what you need to do is that inside whatever setting with right, right now with your computer and your camera, you make sure that everything is in the sync. Okay, so uh, if you are planning to uh, do live streaming in OBS, there's a very nice, easy and formula I'm going to teach you. This is I found online as well after I do a lot of mistakes and then oh I need to do this. Right now you can hear the sound is actually very sign, very synchronized, very nice. Because actually this sound, this particular thing is too fast. It's faster than my signal from the video, about I think 300 milliseconds or 233 milliseconds because this is actually faster. So I need to slow down in the software to uh, match the timing of the video. So uh, one thing bear in mind, every time you turn off your computer and turn on, the delay might change, though, though it's the same, same setup, but it might change. So you always better recommend you before you do any live streaming, do the sound check first. Means, if, because I'm using OBS right now, so the OBS allow me to do recording into a computer. So I will do a recording into a computer, and then I will check how slow it is. Okay, so yeah, this, okay, this is an additional thing. Let me look for the sound delay. The, the, uh, yeah, okay, the formula is very easy. So if you are, if you are doing a 30 frame per second video, okay, and that's what people normally do, 30 frame per second, and your uh, your frame in milli your, your frame per millisecond is 0 0.03 frame per millisecond, okay. Just repeat again: 30 frame per second equals to 0 0.03 frame per millisecond. We're talking about millisecond because that's what you need, you need to input into the OBS because OBS calculate in millisecond. Then if it's a four frame per second delay, then what you need to do is you need to do, uh, okay, how to calculate the four frame, four frame delay, I will show you in the thing later soon. And what you need to do is, okay, four divided by 0 0.03 equals to, yeah, the, the values, the values that's where you need to, okay, let me show this one. <laughs> I should show you this, it will be easier for you to understand. Okay, you can see this formula, oops, too, too dark. Ah, one thing is, because this camera on top is using a power zoom lens, so good thing is if you're using ZV1, if you're using ZV1, also a power zoom, so it means that you can have a nice zoom in, then zoom out. This is a very smooth transition because it's a power zoom. Same thing is to ZV1. ZV1 also using power zoom, so you have a very nice and smooth going in. Uh, okay, oh, too close. Okay, so this is how you calculate. You can see sound delay. This is what I write down for myself. If it's your video recording at 30 frames per second, you need to uh, equals to 0 0.03 frame per millisecond. This is how you actually remember. Lah. And then if it's a four frame delay, when you do the checking in the computer later, I'll show you what it is. And four divided by 0 0.03 equals to 133.33. 333. This is the value that you need to enter to OBS. Then OBS will slow down the time according to your video frame. Okay, so uh, yeah, okay. After, okay, I will show you how to calculate. Actually, I forgot to show you <laughs> how simple you can, Connect ZV1 to your <laughs> live stream. Okay, I'll come back to that later. I'll come back to that, but I'll, I'll go into this one for now first. Remember this very easy one. Okay, then how to calculate 
I, I'm sure most of you, maybe later on you want to do more advanced, you want to do some transition, you want to show your PowerPoint, you want to show some video in your, then that's why you need to go into OBS. Okay, so, right, let me bring up my computer again. Then you can see myself. Okay, then uh, I need to bring on my OBS. Okay, that's where you do. So let's say this is a very simple, you know, nothing fancy. I didn't do much. Okay, because I'm not, I, uh, I'm not using the main computer here. I'm just doing a test here. So you can see this is what you normally do. You have a scene. Multiple scene is like multiple different, um, like your showcase. So let's say for your main product, or you want to have a video, or you want to have a slideshow, uh, you can do here. So here is all your different, different source uh, for your input. So right now, Let's say I already set up here is that everyone is a video here and then the audio here as an example. But right now it's nothing because I haven't connect my computer with the camera yet. But right here on the audio side, here any with anything with the audio, it actually appears here. You will go inside here, right click, at once audio properties. That's the one that you need to click. So if you are using, um, usually if you are using just Type in one and the USB cable by itself, it shouldn't have any issue because it will be nice and okay unless you're using capture card. Then capture card has different speed. That's where you need to do this thing. So you go to the advanced audio properties, go inside. That's where you will find this, the synchronized offset. That's where you need to in enter the, just like I say, 133 millisecond. Uh, so uh, that, that's when you enter this, then the, the, com the, cam sorry, the computer will slow down the, mus uh, the sound and match with the videos. Okay, this is how you do from here. This is a simple one. Okay, uh, let me show you how you actually find the four frame per second. So, okay, let me go back up this one for now. Uh, I need to have a, okay, I, put, I open up my Premiere Pro. <laughs> because I'm, I'm using Premiere Pro usually. Okay, I'll show you on my main computer. Okay, uh, just give me one second. I think I can show you this one. It will pop up soon. Okay, come back to myself. Okay, so right now I'm using, I'm showing my Premiere Pro. Okay, now test sound, I have a test sound. <laughs> Just a simple one. Okay, so uh, inside here is coming up, uh, coming up a little bit. I will just find any sound uh, that I did test before. Because uh, last week I did a test at the, what do you call this? Uh, Pet Cafe, because we did some, uh, yeah, pets live stream. Okay, basically. Uh, e, e, uh, okay, I think this will be fine. I will just do. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I just press any. It doesn't matter. <laughs> okay, the idea is see if I clapping. Okay, this was my setup before. Also, you can still see. Uh, oops, you can still see myself here. Right? Okay, good. So right here. So I open up this video. I go down. I drag down. Okay, then what I need to do is, you can see, ah, see I will clap, one, two, three, clap. You see I clap? Okay, you need to look for the clap. So basically, let me go up, uh, higher, 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 and then show you, oh, this is the video. I need the audio. Okay, wait, I need to go in audio. Ah, okay, so clap is a spike, because you clap, it's a high pitch, so you know that it's a spike. Then you look for the clap timing, and also your video timing. Is it exactly the same? That's why you need to wear a headphone to double check the sound as well as the, uh, the, the, the clapping. Uh. So what you need to do is, you see I do one, two, three. Yeah, let me, uh, it's on the right hand side now. Okay, yeah, so uh, the clap, it should be the same. Okay, clap. So you can see from here, let me go larger. If I can go larger. Oh, great. Okay, so yeah, the, the, there's a spike here. That's the actual sound that comes out. It's r around here. This is actually I'm moving in very small, like a one frame per second. So, okay. So this is the actual sound that claps, and then then I need to see my frame, my video. Okay, I I count from here. One, two, three. Wait, sorry, yeah, one more time. One, two, three, four, four frame. Ah, that's how you calculate. So in, in the, when you do editing video, you use this any software that you use, uh, but you just need to check the sound. The actual sound happened and the video, how, how much it actually delay. So from here is four frame, per, uh, four frame that actually delays. That's how you need to input this data, like I mentioned before, to this part right here. Remember just I mentioned? In your, let's say right here will be your z audio, but I don't think any issue with the USB cable, no issue, only if you use capture card, because I'm using, at, uh, let's say I'm using at the mini, then there's a delay there. So let's say I go to advanced audio properties, that's where I enter the 133. Okay, 
So you understand? Remember, the trick is right here, sound delay. If you're doing 30 frames per second, 0 0.03 frames per millisecond. And if it's 4 frames per second delay, that, that's how you calculate 4 divided by 0 0.03. Sorry, 4 divided by, ah, shit, I need to switch back. <laughs> because I'm in a different view. Okay, yeah. So this is a, the idea, 4 divided by 0 0.03, that's 133.33. Okay, that, that one you need to test based on how many input you have. So if you have more input, then you need to do, you need to do all the different inputs. <laughs> it's going to be crazy. Okay, so uh, depending on how many input you're having. Lah, so if you only have one, then not an issue. But you have multiple input, yeah, it will take, a, it will take some time to go and test individual for all the items. Okay, so every member, Every time you turn off, con turn off computer and turn on, it, the value will change because your hardware actually changes, but you don't know. So you always need to test. Okay, so like myself, every time when I do stream, I also need to test. Just that I forgot to test this every month. That's why the sound delay is huge. Okay, so... Uh, okay. Yeah. Okay, so sound from there, and this is a, you can hear this is a very focused sound, but it's, it's due for what? what it's actually good for, but it's not for a general purpose, it's really for live stream, that's it, or podcast. <laughs> you can't use this for to go out, cannot, <laughs> okay? So I'm gonna switch around right now. Yeah, always good to know your maths, yes. What you're seeing in the front right now, okay, this is the, I'm using the, the microphone in the front is, uh, oh, oh, this one cannot, this is actually doesn't support everyone, so never mind, I don't demonstrate. But I think some people might be curious we have the new microphone from Sony, which is, uh, this is additional thing you might want to invest in the future, which is this one right here. Oops, it's blur. Okay. Uh, ah, yeah, this one. So this is the brand new microphone. Uh, it's like this. It's actually, it's a Bluetooth. It's a Bluetooth. So this, this thing, actually there's another receiver, lah, but the receiver is actually on top of the camera, but uh, yeah, I cannot show you. But anyhow, this is uh, the one that you actually click, you know, click to your shirt. Let me put it back for now. And then you click to your shirt. So if you're in thinking to go vlogging and then you want to go around, and then this one actually plug directly to your com your camera without the additional cable because it's just USB and plug into it. So so this is the ECM dash W two BT. Okay, anything you see with the BT is a Bluetooth lah. So this is the ECM dash W two BT, and this microphone allows you to um, you can move around. No? Basically, you want to talk and move. So um, okay, so I'm gonna switch over to this one. Maybe the sound is better than that one, ah, <laughs> better than the, from the camera because this is actually more closer to you and it's better. But uh, yeah, let me turn on. Okay, let me. Okay, this is at different input or oh, this is input this one. Okay, let me go to my. Turn off my road mic. Test, test, test. One, two. Okay, I think now the sound is a bit soft. Test, test. Test, test, okay, sound a bit soft. Test, 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 okay, Be better, 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 okay, good. All right, so this is the sound you're getting from this ECM dash W2PT. Oops, blurry. Okay, so now the sound is from here. Okay, so depending, uh, I'm not sure in your DJ what you want to do in, in, in general, but you can. Guess the idea, like, this is because it's a wireless, wireless mic. You can really like bring around. Okay, and this is uh, the the receiver by itself with the windscreen. And on top, if, if you want want to have better sound, you can also use the Lavella mic. Okay, but this is the separate thing you need to buy. It doesn't come together. <laughs> okay, so but good thing is this is you just plug into camera USB and that's it. That's that's you you don't need to do much. You just is actually connected uh, automatically. Okay, when you plug in the camera. I uh, the camera and then, yeah. So this is the wireless lavalier mic. So if I do, I think if I do put out, and I put this one in, and I put this one in, I think the sound still going. Test, test, test. Uh, the sound gone already. Not sure why. A. Test, test. One, two. Yeah. So you can you might hear the ambience ambient sound. Is this volume lower down or what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now it should be better. Because uh, whenever I... Because I think this camera haven't updated to the latest firmware. The, the Bluetooth compatibility is a bit off. 
yeah, make sure whenever you have camera, update to the latest firmware. <laughs> because when there's a new device, it might not work properly. But this is the one with the lavalier mic, so you might hear the sound is even better. And on top, uh, the surrounding sound a bit more suppressed due to this combination right here. And then on the camera itself, you can actually set how many uh, gain. So right now, if I turn on to zero, means you will hear more of the ambient noise. Yeah, I think more ambient noise. Yeah, I think a bit louder. So if I close, go to 10 dB, this is at 10 dB. Slightly more compressed on the background noise. My myself still okay. Maybe slightly, slightly lower volume. And now I go to 20 dB. Okay, background noise a bit more suppressed. And the sound from myself still going there. Yeah. Finally, the mic is better. <laughs> uh, yeah. Because I'm doing live, so there's a lot of things going on at the same time. <laughs> That's why when you do live stream, always there's always new challenge because sometimes the the electronic doesn't go along the way so you need to find a way to you know to go make sure they are all uh, but okay this is all the complicated stuff right now i'm just going to show you a simple one because the z1 has this new firmware update that you can just plug in a usb cable it will just works okay so i'm going to switch around back to this mic here so i'm going to carry this all the time yeah this is a new uh, if you're looking for a wireless mic uh, to bring around, this is a very handy, easy to bring. Okay, then you can just click on and it works. Or you can just with this windscreen. Either way, either way also works. Okay. Off. Okay, back to this. Okay, so you might hear clearer sound because of this. But this is uh, this what it make for. Uh. Okay, so... Uh, okay, with the simple setup, very easily, you, all you need to do is USB cable. Update the latest firmware if you haven't. USB cable, just one cable, that's it. Uh, it's not connect, it's not showing in. Yeah. Oop. Okay. <laughs> uh, two, yeah, okay. So you get an idea. So this one, you, you find my eyes. Okay, yeah. So if USB cable to the camera. Okay, let me uh, go to number four for now. I turn on myself. Uh, actually, number two. Uh, okay, easier. Okay. Uh, so this is the formula, remember? Okay. So currently, this camera is set to right here. Okay. All you need to do, do uh, right now, this cable is actually the Wi-Fi transmission. Uh, it's not the USB. USB is this, this hole right here. Okay. If, if you're updated to the latest firmware on ZV1, if you find one thing called uh, the USB streaming, you will find that in the video section, in, which is number two, right here. And then you go into the USB streaming. Yeah, here, number four. I think number four. Yes, number four, USB streaming. Okay, so if you do, if you do cannot see, I can go around. Ah, I need to turn on the HDMI. Okay, so you are, if I want to show you the information on the screen, I need to turn on the HDMI info display. But if you are doing live streaming, you don't want to show that. Okay, then you need to switch, switch off the HDMI info display. Only if you are doing, you know, uh, output via the capture card. Uh, with the HDMI, they only need you to do these steps. But if you're using USB, it always gives you the clean output. Okay, this is the HDMI info display. Turn it on, then you can see this information. And then USB streaming is always in number two. This is a cool thing from ZA1. Right here, go to number four. USB streaming. So basically, it turns your camera become a webcam. And you don't need to use any other software because it actually a uh, video and audio protocol in the USB built in already, and you just plug in the computer straight away. USB streaming, okay, and it's waiting for something. It's waiting for a signal, so it asks you to connect for a USB cable, okay. So uh, I hopefully it works because I'm actually doing HDMI for this, but then I'll give it a try. So I'll plug in my USB cable right now. So if I can show you. It's because the screen now is actually blank. I cannot see anything. But anyway, I'll do, I'll do, I, I try. I plug in. Yes, okay. Uh, the screen is still blank, but it should have some information on your screen already. Let me see. Yep, here's, nah. So there's actually the computer, in, I mean, it's the camera already connected to the, to the, uh, to the computer via USB cable. So you, you can cancel the USB streaming state by pressing the menu button if you want to cancel. Okay, all right, so uh, never mind, I'll, oh, sorry, press the mode button. Never mind, I'll just quickly show you. Right now it's actually in the USB mode, streaming, streaming mode today. So, okay, okay, you can see myself here. I'm here, okay, it's actually tracking. 
So actually USB output to computer, but if I show you my screen on my computer, it actually comes up. You can see here, it's a clean output, okay? Right. So this is the, the output from the computer. You can see right here on the left hand side. So this is, uh, this, you can see the sound coming in because of the, the, the US, the ZV1 audio and video together while USB go into computer. That's it. This is simple. Then your, your OBS straight away recognize it very easily. Uh, if you can even do it even more simple, no problem. You can do this way where you go to your, you know, Facebook. Okay, let me switch off the OBS for now. I scare they will be interfere when you have too many input. Okay, turn off for now. Then I'll go to Facebook. Okay, this is the easiest when you want to do live stream, even easier. You don't even need to use any software. Okay, so just go to your Facebook, whichever. You can add me, Hante, but my Facebook account is almost full already. So anyway, go inside here, live video, go inside. Then you will find uh, some options, uh, not, not fancy, but yeah, you can see Sony camera ZV-1. You press on this one. Uh -huh. Then you find the ZV-1. So you change the video and audio into the ZV-1. This is a USB protocol. And then you don't have to install any software. So you can see on top. Yeah, so you're getting higher quality video from the ZV-1 at the same time audio from the ZV-1. That's how you do it. A simple Facebook live streaming is all here. You can see, very easy. Okay, so if you want to start from scratch, nothing, no complicated things, you can start from here. But of course, if you want to add more fun thing, then you can start using OBS. It's the same. OBS will just treat this ZV-1 as one of the input for video and input for audio, and then it depends how you want to do your layers and all this and that. But the sound shouldn't be an issue because they should have a very close timing. It shouldn't be an issue only when you use capture card. And capture card got problem because capture card, uh, they have different processor speed and all this and that. So it's not so optimized. But ZV-1 with this USB is optimized. So you can confident to go online and you still get nice quality. So maybe it doesn't look as ideal. I mean, it looks a bit dark here. <laughs> let me check my uh, my screen. It's black. Okay, let me go back to this. Oh, I press the minus 03. Yeah, I can go to this and then 01. Okay, hang with me. Yeah, much better. Okay, so you can get an idea. This is from the uh, ZV1 and then you can see very smooth, very steady thanks to this active stabilization on the ZV1. Of course, it cannot replace a gimbal, but it still gives you a very nice uh, stable footages. Okay, this is how easy for you to connect USB from the camera, just one cable to computer, and then that's it, you just do the all the wonders. I can show you. So you can just type on anything, you know, your title, you know, ZV1 live streaming, anything you want, I don't know. And then you just press go live, you go live. Okay, I don't want to press now because it will go another live to onto my Facebook. Okay. So, okay, so far so good. Any more questions from you guys? This is, yeah, this is a simple setup right here. So I hope you you get some idea. Okay, what time now? I can be very I can be very long winded, so I might <laughs> carry over too much myself. <laughs> okay, back to here again. Yeah, of course. Then you can see this a uh, different quality, of course, but because it's a full frame. <laughs> but yeah, uh, this is a, like everyone is like an all in one. You know, very very good combo, and then it has all the features that you want for. Uh, let's say, get back to me again, turn on and come to this. Yeah, so it has all the easy and natural selfie and then the flip out screen and the record button on the front. Very important because sometimes I was also forget that I'm actually doing recording. Then it got an eye tracking, very very nice and easy. Oh, and then a beautiful focus, the focus the button. Ah, actually, let me take out this part for now, the USB streaming state. I just click out. And then, okay, turn off, turn. Okay, I don't want to turn on my USB streaming. I need to turn, go back. Uh, USB. Wait, uh. huh. Oh, that's it to, to disconnect. Okay, hold on, hold on. Uh, give, me, give me one second to connect back. Okay, shit works now. I'm using a Wi-Fi trigger. It's called Holy Land. Okay, back to me. So uh, to do the background separation, okay, again, this is a one-inch sensor. So the background separation actually works better when you are actually closer to camera. So you have more background separation. Okay, what I'm going to do is I press, okay, if you look at myself here, there's a, on top right corner, there's a button. It's called a bokeh switch, if I press this. So now it's defocus, and then background a bit more clear. So you can see now background a bit more clear, and defocus, background a bit blur. Okay, let me go to the full, okay, this is 
clear and blur. Just press the button. So that one here is actually menu. And again, go to HDMI info display. If you don't want to show anything to your customer, if, if you're using capture card, then you need to switch off the HDMI info display. So you won't show the information on your screen to your customer when you view it. Okay, so back to it. Now it's clean. Okay, clean? Yeah, so you can see this is a ZV1 camera. Of course, with a dedicated lighting here, but yeah, the picture from this camera is pretty good. I mean, for, for what it is and the, for the price, and not like 20k here, but it's for what it is actually very good. So if you want to do live stream, you can have one here and one maybe on top. Yeah. So let's say the background separation and do one more time. Okay. Clear. Blur. Clear again. Blur. Clear. And blur. Okay, just press one button. So it make it easier for people to that don't know about all this aperture setting, whatever it is. You press one button, it will just do the uh, focusing background or defocus yeah okay all right so i guess huh, what else i haven't cover mm, yeah i can do slow motion but yeah and then easily phone transfer no problem you can phone transfer okay just quickly to show you how you see you can transfer your stuff uh, to your phone and one thing is that we want support vertical recording so if you are doing a lot of insta story Okay, you can keep away your phone already. I mean, you still use your phone to post, but take the video from the camera because the camera, that one has the gyro metadata. It's actually stored the video file. It knows the orientation of your... Uh, you can see here. It knows the orientation of the camera, whether it's horizontal or vertical. Let me go back to myself. Okay, so if I'm going to... I'm going to do a quick video here. Like, like just do a, like this. Okay, you can see. Oops. Uh... Uh, yeah, okay, that's, that's something like that, okay, it should, it should work, okay, it's recording right now, and then when it's recording, there's a red, there's a red button, you can see there's a nice big red button, it knows that it's recording, okay, okay, I'll do one more time, because I actually turn around, <laughs> okay, uh, uh, I'm like doing a double angle here, Ooh. okay, so I'm just going to do one, two, three, record, okay, all right, hey everyone, this is Han here. We're just doing a testing right now with this uh, ZV1 in a vertical recording. So when I record this uh, video, when I transfer to phone, it will become vertically, thanks to the gyro metadata actually stored into this video file. Okay, done. So to, to, to transfer, pretty much it's quite straightforward. Okay, let me go to number two. Okay, oops. Maybe I need to go backwards a bit. Again, this is a power zoom lens. So I really like it because you can easily zoom in and zoom out and very smooth transition same like the uh, z one also has the power zoom so press menu and okay let me go to the picture oh so i go to the picture the last picture in the i mean the video uh yeah because i'm actually transferring wi-fi and then the wi-fi when you when i do the hdmi info display it will be into the i need to take out this one it will come back i see it come back okay then this this video uh, if i want to transfer this image very easily. Phone, it comes with a QR code and my phone right here. Okay, phone, phone, and I look for my apps. There's an app called Imaging Edge Mobile. You can install Imaging Edge Mobile. Press on it. And then what you need to do is you can connect with the new camera. Oops, you need to turn on the Wi Fi. Let me turn on the Wi Fi and then connect with the new camera. Press on it. Scan QR code. Uh, don't worry, OK. It asks me to scan, then go to the QR code. Uh, where is it? <laughs> Hello. Okay, done. You're very easy, very fast. Okay. And you will start looking for the camera, for the Wi-Fi signal. Hopefully it works because there's a lot of Wi-Fi going on at the same time. There's a Wi-Fi HDMI transmission, Wi-Fi from the internet, Wi-Fi from the camera to transmit the data. And uh, yes, it found it. Okay, connect. So if you have more interference, it might take time. Lah. I can see how easy for you to transfer. So you can see the video is already straight, vertical. So you can use it for your Insta story. Okay, simple. Then you can go to the, uh, let's say I go to my Instagram, you know, Instagram. You can add me. Uh, I'm Han Tae here. Okay, so let's say I go to my story. Okay, all right. Sorry. Press. Uh, 
Yeah, so you can get the idea. So everything what you see here is vertically, and then you transfer. Okay, so if you do your backgrounds, uh, if you have a, if you if you record a video with uh, things in the front, you will focus, uh, very fast and instantaneous thanks to this, uh, product showcase setting, and of course the camera actually record video knows that it's vertically. Then when you when you go to your phone, you become vertical, and usually. These days, all the smartphones support this function already, lah, unless the way you're using a very old phone. If you don't see your video become vertical, it means that your phone is too old. It doesn't record, it doesn't read the data uh, from the phone, uh, sorry, the phone video file, uh, sorry, camera video file with vertical information. So, yeah, if it does that, means your phone is outdated. <laughs> Times to change a new phone. But yeah, most of the new smartphone these days, they will already know it's a vertical video format because Insta Story is uh, very popular. So, you can use that features as well. So, I hope. Just uh, this sharing, I know it's not really a DJing because I'm not really good in DJing, but I'm more on troubleshooting guy. So you can see how, uh, yeah, the the setup and all this and that to, to get you idea how you can kickstart for a simple, just camera, USB, and straight away Facebook or with the OBS. And then at the same time, or if you are looking for a more advanced, you can see I'm actually having a bit more complex system here. Mainly is that, Okay, let me switch back to this one. Hope you guys still with me. <laughs> okay, uh, let me switch back to this. Okay, then number four. Yeah, so many is this feature here. So if you're looking for game up, oh, there's another mic here. I, I, but yeah, never mind. I don't. Want, I won't really go and test it. But anyhow, you want to game up the game, you might want to get this one. This is the cheapest Atom Mini you can buy. It's not expensive. It's about thousand six here. But it has four HDMI input. This way, I can do the switching. That's why if I press this, you bring up the icon. You can see you bring up the icon on the lower right and turn it off. Turn it on. It's very simple. And once it's set up, it's always there. So I don't really use this button. I only use this on and off to turn off and turn on with this button on the lower right. Give you this very interesting uh, live sharing experience to your, you know, for your to your uh, friends, uh. And then this is a very worthy investment. You don't need to buy the crazy one. They have a lot of version. This is more than enough. I just use a basic one because right now they have the extreme and ultra and there's eight different ports. You don't need to go through. This is actually good enough. And then you have four input. So if I press this button, it will switch to main screen and then press, uh, press again, press again, press again, press again, press again. So you can get an idea. It's very easy to cut. It's all from here. This is a switcher and capture card at the same time. But this one relies on HDMI cable. Okay? HDMI cable. All right, so you need to yeah, have quite a hefty of your cable. So you can have different input. If I press this to different input, now it's a different input. If I press to a different computer, you know, this uh, different, different input together. So yeah, you can get ideas. So this is a quite an easy setup. If you're looking for multiple live streaming. Uh. <laughs> All right, so uh, this is the Atom Mini here. And Okay, speaking about lighting, so I think for a start, if you're looking for a good live, uh, live stream lighting, uh, let's say you can, you don't need to buy crazy one. You can look for the, go, uh, let me go back. You can look for the, let's say, what do you call this? Uh, non light, uh, non light is actually quite affordable this day. Let's say that the 200 watts or even 150 watts is more than enough. Let's say right now in front of me, this one here, if I show you, okay, this is a 300 watt here, but actually I don't really use full power, you know, I only use about 37%. Okay, you can see right here, I'm using about 37%, maybe you cannot see, 37%. Yeah, so I'm using 37% right, with this, and with the grid, the grid allow you to control the light, like more focusing. So this is one here. Okay, you, you need a main light, of course, whatever right now you see in the background is additional. <laughs> it will take time to build, but it's additional. You can see the, okay, let me go back to, Okay. If you see the, the LED light and all this, and then there's another fancy light going on at the same time, you see the, the, the cross, all like the different different cross. Yeah, this is a, another LED light from Godox, uh, 150 watts, plus a modifier in the front to create these interesting shapes. So to make it more interesting, like, you can put it this way. Yeah, uh, that one is a SL150, I think, Godox, and then plus a modifier into, to control the lighting. So if I show you this again, yeah, they, they see the light, Shining right there, that's the light to create the, the interesting shapes, okay? Then you see the, the color keep changing, that's the non-light, I was using a lot of non-light, non-light power tube, power tube is a straight tube, so if I go show you, you can see right here, that's the power tube, 
Okay, so it's like a straight. This is a 30 C or 30, I can't remember. It's a very long one. So I have one here and then another one here. So you can see another one here. So yeah, this will just keeping giving you the environment. Of course, this is your personal preference. You don't have for me, but you, you, you can get an idea. You have, you have a lot of flexibility in terms of if you want to uh, do your live streaming. You know, there's one light and then one light here. And one more is, if you notice, if I go back to myself, sometimes I like to create a bit more separation. You see, and see there's some orange color here. A bit separation from the background, a little bit, not much. But that's because there's another light on top. <laughs> there's another light on top. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, you can see one, two, three, four, five. I'm using five different lighting systems at the same time right here. Okay, then on top is the LED light to make it more fancy with, with a nice background separation. Yeah, so... Uh, yeah, I, I started pretty much all these things from last year, you know, MCO until now. Uh, yeah, so it's been a while. Uh, take me a while to get there, but don't worry. You don't have to like come in straight, straight away. I also start from camera, so you can just get a ZV1 first. Very good enough for your live stream needed. Just get a ZV1 uh, with the package that I show you. Okay, let me go back to the screen again. <laughs> I think my friend is going to kill me. Uh, I'm keep talking about all the different, different things. <coughs> Okay, so you can see 12 months credit in card installment available for Maybank and Public Bank. And more information, please contact Techway at 012-6320-729. Okay, you can see right here. So find out from them if you want to get this ZV1. Again, I'm Hana, you know. If you have any question, uh, any technical question, you can always look for me on Facebook. Uh, you just type Han Te, H-A-N-T-E-H, -H Han Te, you can find me. You can ask me if you have any more, you know, set up. Sometimes... Like OBS itself can be quite daunting because it's, yeah, uh, there's a bit of learning curve, but once you get there, actually it's okay, uh, not bad. You can, you can get there one, no problem. So, okay. Finally, mine is better. <laughs> all right, so I guess you all get the idea how it actually works. And before, I think I, I got anything else to show you. Uh, yeah, almost time's up. Yeah, I think it's quite long time. <laughs> okay, any more question? If before I just you know end this stream, feel free. And I see you can see it's like, yeah. Take your time. Take your time. Uh, yeah, J one is actually quite good. Oh, actually I can show you a uh, one thing J one can do high frame rate means you can slow down in time if you want to. Let me bring up a video I did in two thousand nineteen back then because when I was actually traveling a lot, uh, I travel almost. Ooh. On the plane itself, I think 80 over times in one year. <laughs> Just a plane. I haven't count the car. But yeah, I, let me show you a video that I did last time in 2019. It's about the slow motion from the uh, high frame rate from the Z. Uh, I mean, it was IS Angra Mark, Mark 5, but it's the same thing. So I will show you. Uh, is it details? Maybe not this one. Uh, hold on, uh, give me one second. I think it's not in this folder. No worry. I'll just go to another one. Okay, one second. Where did I put it? <laughs> Where did I put it? Uh, there's quite a lot of video. Okay, ah, uh, here. All right. So this is it. Okay. Then I'm gonna bring up this one.
okay so you can get an idea with the slow motion you can do this with it is exactly one because you can support up to 1000 frames per second so that was the yeah that's additional function uh, it's because it's been there since x camera so you can do the slow motion right there no issues okay so i guess that's all for tonight hope thanks for your joining these sessions and then again if you think this video is useful and this live stream is useful feel free to share it to your you know anyone is looking for that we want or even interesting to find out do live streaming might be a bit more complicated right here but you can start from the simple one but you can just show them yeah so that's an easy way and also a bit more complicated way but actually it's not complicated it's just take time to build so uh yeah back to this again if you're looking for any promotion make, make sure contact Techway at 0126320729 for tonight live sharing and especially for this ZV1 hot deal. Okay, so that's all from me. Han here from Sony Malaysia. And I guess finally it's Friday. Okay, everyone have a hopefully have a good weekend. And yeah, thank you very much. Okay, so I will just end this one and bye bye. See you next time. Hopefully, we have a physical activity in the future. But again, MCO don't know when. Just take care of yourself. Stay safe. And yeah. Bye-bye.